Welcome back to another video legends and today we have from Scalatric the Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 GTI. We have a track, we are running the Arc Pro. We're going to put this little baby around our test track but first let's take a look at it. So before we take the Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 GTI, the Rabbit by Scalatric around our test track, let's take a closer look. And if you are new to Scale Electric, they come in this sandwich style opening crystal case. But I did want to show you because normally we don't get any plastic dividers. And I know this is a bit of useless information, but to me that's unique. I don't normally see that. And if I am wrong, let me know. But normally they just come screwed to the base. But I just want to quickly show you that before we take a look at this little guy. It is awesome. Now we are used to seeing race liveries, race cars, and to me it's very refreshing to see this Golf as a factory fresh car back from when it was released. And we'll kick off with the, what would have been, steel slotted rims back in the day when it was released. And they've done a really good job replicating that. I think it looks really cool. We've got the black over fenders, the rear rims the same. It looks good. Again, refreshing, non-race car. Uh, hopefully we get some race liveries in the future on this puppy, but at the moment, this is a factory fresh reddish version of the Golf. Now I want to show you a close up of the plastic lenses on the slot car in the real world. That would be glass, but I like how they've got the strike lines through it, showing off some of the real finer details on what they are doing with their later cars. It looks really good. Blacked out grille with the Volkswagen and the GTI badging. We've got the KEE 734S number plate in white. Take note of that, because it will change on the rear. And this blacked out split out. Now I do apologize, being a red car, it doesn't come up too well on camera, but it actually looks really good. Let's go around to the driver's side. Yes, this is the driver's side. I'm used to this side. I am in Australia, of course, if you're in America, you're on the other side. Old mate's wearing a beautiful, and I'm going to say 80s grey suit with a grey tie. He's chuffed, he's driving his rabbit to work. I like their finer details, we've got some pinstriping down the side and our painted gas tank. It's cool. It is. I'm going to keep saying it's cool. Around to the back, we've got the KEE 734S number plate. Now it's in yellow. Take note of that. When I was in the UK, it spun me out. The rears are yellow and the fronts are normally white so it's cool again different i'm not used to seeing that here in australia if you're thinking they've made a mistake no they haven't that's what happens when you're driving in the uk but the volkswagen the golf gdi indicators the brakes we've got the stop lights it looks good on the rear and the rear bumper as well i want to flip it upside down this is the analog version of this car you can fit a digital ready chip or dpr plug in there which will allow you to go digital very simple unscrew that take it off plug in the chip which will then screw back into the same window i will do that on a future video it is simple but today we'll take a look at the analog version now the latest scalatric cars are coming with some kind of insignia or logo this one of course being a golf they've got golf written underneath and they've got the volkswagen stamp as well really cool car up uh, Detail on my end is great. I haven't seen any faults with this one, of course. Always check your cars from every brand to make sure you're happy with the detail. But this one, the quality control is bang on. But I think it's enough having a look at it. It's about time we see how this thing handles our test track. So it's time we test the Scalatric version of the Mark 1 Golf GTI, the rabbit around our Arc Pro test track. If you are new to Scalatric, the Arc Pro allows you to run digital and analog cars. We are running an analog car, but you will see I have put a digital changeover in just to show you it doesn't affect our analog cars. And I'll do a couple of siding laps, talking through some of the, I guess, features of this track. A big S section. We do have a squeeze track as well under our second Dunlop bridge, past the double changeover into this quick straight. So let's get a little bit quicker each time we go around, because this is a quick, quick car and you'll see down the straight it wants to fly but stay tuned to the end i will have some cinematic i guess uh, footage of this car doing its thing around the track i'll try and throw some slow motion in there but now let's give this thing a little bit of a test we are on the inside lane so everything should be a little bit tighter for us making it a bit more challenging as we kick it out it's quick it's small it does want to roll over if you push it too hard 
and we've come out of the slot and we do have little tires so we'll want to spin them up but it's quick all right a couple more laps oh almost lost it she gripped on but it handles the corners quite well straight line speed is incredible i'm not confident enough yet to push it through these corners two more laps and then we'll get into some cinematics one more lap let's see if i can go faster And there you have it, the Volkswagen GTI Golf, the Rabbit by Scalatric. Absolute beauty.